What's up, guys? I got another glove here to review, so let's jump into it. Another staple in my collection is this beautiful Rawlings Horween softball fans exclusive. The model number on this one is PRO 20086HTG, and I'll go over that in a second. Size 12 and a half in that black ink, as you can see, which is pretty uncommon. Rawlings right there with the heart of the hide. Uh, 200 pattern pro grade handcrafted number 23 these are individually numbered i believe only 49 in this size and model were made from this is a softball fans exclusive pretty sought after i believe it sold out um i believe only softball fans team express and baseball express had these on their on their website uh 2.99 retail uh you know i, I believe a, a couple months back they since since then have sold out um and had skyrocketed out on ebay if you want to look at one um so yeah i have one in my possession obviously as you can see here with the new rawlings uh labels with the gold outline finger pad that i've been uh loving the standard felt welting black embroidery with the Rawlings right there in the index and on the pinky the glove gold glove co with the uh, MLB logo there now date stamp you do see the Tennessee tan laces right there throughout the glove H web of course uh, and yeah, back to the model number here, 208, because it is a uh, H-Web 2, um, 12 and a half, 6, you know, the 6 because it is a H-Web, sorry, the 208 because it is the 200 pattern and 12 and a half, and then H because it is a Horween, and the T, who wants to know the T, because of the tan laces, and then the G, lastly, is for the gold that you see throughout the glove with the Vegas gold outline. And then I want to say because of the gold on the outline of the patch, which is a nice little touch right there. But yeah, beautiful glove, guys. Um, you know, I've always wanted... I've had a horror wings before, um, but they never lasted with for me as as far as, you know, keeping them... Um, I would eventually sell them. So this one, I believe, is going to be the first one that I hold on to. Um, just because I feel that the size is, is adequate for me at this point. Um, 12 and a half is a really good size, especially for softball. Um, infield, outfield. So it's very versatile in that way. So being an H-Web, Rawlings, Horween is, I think, a no-brainer for me to keep. Um, just moving forward in my softball career. Um, so yeah, I, I have listed it on eBay. Um, but you know, that's just kind of just to see what, what it's worth and what, what hits I get. But, um, I'm most likely keeping this glove for, for good reason. So, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys were able to, to get yours. I love mine. I've been, you know, playing couch catch with it and warming up with it and even practicing with it just to see if it's ready. I've even gamed it once and it did fantastic. So, I still think it's it's a little stiff for me. It still needs a couple a couple more sessions of 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 mallet work, but but yeah, I love it. I think the color is amazing. I haven't put any oils on it. I I, I love that kind of old school dry look. If you guys are familiar, let's jump into the the whole Horwin thing for a second. I used to think that Horwin was a a type of leather, you know, like steer hide or kip leather, but it's actually, it's a tanning process. It's a, the Horween itself is just the process of which they, they do the leather, the leathers. And as you can see, it's a little bit more drier than you're used to seeing with like a, with which like, for example, a kip leather, which is very buttery and and smooth, the grains, just, it's just all, all about the grains, as you can see. And this one is just a little bit drier, but that's just the the tanning process that the Horween is. And I, I think it looks amazing, especially out in the sun. It's nice and bright and orange. But yeah, um, I do have these that I'm not sure if I'm going to throw on them. These authentic uh, Rawlings labels, nice and shiny. Um, I know the glove is going to look even better if I decided to throw these on them, but I'm not sure yet. So 
don't message me. I'm not selling these. These are these came at a pretty penny, so they're not for sale. Um, but I just don't know if I'm gonna throw these on these or another glove that I got in mind. But yeah, as usual, guys, let me know what you guys think. Comment and subscribe.